Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Zillica. Um, this has been uh, kind of under the radar a bit, but now it's starting to come back up, um, especially recently with the um, updates about GZIL. Uh, this was maybe about a month or two ago. Uh, it kind of changed the whole game for staking. So before, um, this is GZIL, so before you'd only stake and you'd only get ZIL tokens for like a 20%, but now you get this as like a bonus. So like for every 1,000 uh, ZIL that you get back in stake rewards, you get one GZIL. So that's pretty cool. So let, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, first, let's talk about, well, first off, uh, in this video, we're going to talk about why this project's, uh, what this project's doing, what it's uh, like, what it's trying to be, what it did uh, that makes it so much different, all that and more in this video. Uh, so let's jump into the wisdom one-liners. This one's my favorite. Do not speak to fools, for they will scorn your prudent words. Guys, you know that guy. <laughs> it, it, uh, for all you parents out there, your parents talking to your kids, trying to give them wisdom. And they, it, oh, son, don't do that. Oh, son. And they go do it anyways, or they, they say, no, forget you, mom. Guys, uh, fools are going to not heed to wise words. Um, they're they're going to strike back at them. Keep that in mind when you get, when you give them wisdom. So back to Zillica, back to the project. So Zillica is a token developed in 2017. Zillica is mainly based on the concept of sharding. So these guys are the first ones to implement sharding. So Ethereum was having this huge issue with um, proof of work and transactions were getting so high and uh, Bitcoin is um, using as much energy as the country of Ireland and who knows what it'll be in the future. It could be the Side the size of the United States. I don't know. Who knows? But anyways, um, so now Ethereum, it is working out 2.0, which is sharding. So Zillica was the first. So they did implement sharding already. They are mainnet. Ethereum is still trying to catch up to them. So it kind of lets uh, Zillica, they're, they're growing right now. They're in mainnet. They're, they're working. They're pumping. They're going. Um, they actually have some projects going on it right now. Um, so Zillica is a smart contract token. Basically, it's the same thing as Ethereum, but instead they are using sharding and they work much faster. So it's Ethereum, but faster. Um, yeah, so you guys can see it there. Uh, so here's what's pretty interesting is their ecosystem. So on the team, they have this company called X F E R S X Furs. I, I don't know how to say it. Um, I'm terrible with names and oh, DFs just like Ethereum. So you guys can build this. But X Furs is a company in Singapore um, that is they're creating a stable coin and they're going to use the Zillica blockchain to help and pay their people in the country with a stable coin. Guys, do you remember what happened to Ethereum when they had MakerDAO and Dai? Yeah, that was back in 2018 when Ethereum exploded. Keep that in mind, guys. This, this could be huge. I mean, Singapore's not the size of uh, the U.S. or whoever was using the stablecoin, I guess, the first stablecoin in the world. So I would say everyone who's able to use it, but that's huge. So there are, on, and this is another thing, unstoppable domains. I did a video on it, why it's important, but... You look at someone's cryptocurrency wallet and it's like three, four, five, E, three, Z, P, what, like 17 or 18 digit random phrase. And it's like, or random numbers and letters. And it's like, what is that? With unstoppable domains, you can have um, jerryevans.crypto or jerryevans.zill or jerryevans. Dot or uh, Jason Edwards dot zill. So you, there's only two different ones. There's dot crypto and dot zill dot crypto can get paid. Yes. You can take Ethereum and, um, Bitcoin, Litecoin, uh, and, um, what is, I think Bitcoin cash onto the, um, dot crypto, but dot zill is its own thing. So you can accept even more cryptos on the dot zill, which is really cool encourage you guys to check out unstoppable domain i'll put a link in the description so you guys can check it out but they're also integrated with like moonlet and chain link that's huge i mean everyone knows link all those link marines out there it's the number one oracle out there right now 
Um, I want to find where that is. So this is their roadmap. This is currently where they're at. Um, these, these are all the different things. But like I said, they're already main net. So that's the main thing you need to know. They're main net. They're going. They're good to go. So here's the Zillica partnerships. So this is XFERS, um, regulated provider, e-payment solutions, so on. Yeah, so um, basically it's the uh, widely accepted store value facility approval for Singapore. So these guys are the first stable coin in Singapore, which is huge. So it uh, has over 1 million users. Um, it's big. I mean, it's a payment network, and it allows people to get paid through the Zillica network. Um, that's huge. I mean, here's their company right here. It's, it's almost like Stripe, but for Singapore, uh, or I guess you can say PayPal. So this is like the stable coin built on the Zillica blockchain. So, I mean, that, that's crazy. Um, that, that'll make the, the, um, actual project just explode from it. Um, so you can see like, here are some of the, uh, guys on Zillica. So this is the Exifers. We talked about it. We talked about unstoppable domains. Um, this is one of the, uh, he's a business owner and a Zillican. He's, he's an investor in Zillica. Um, so he's definitely on the up and up with Zillica. You can actually learn more about their project and look at some of their people, um, just by going under, um, ecosystem and it'll tell you the different people. Uh, you can also go to their company, learn about them, blogs and newsletters. So this is about Zillica. This is a quick video, quick introductory to it. Um, this is what I was talking about where you can stake. Um, so you can actually do a non-custodial staking so you can hold your crypto. Everyone knows not your keys, not your crypto. So you're sending your money to a different place and staking it. You could stake it on Coinbase. Problem with Coinbase is you don't have those. So say Coinbase gets hacked, say bye bye to your coins. Store them on a ledger, guys. Store them on a different wallet. Do not store them on a phone wallet. I mean, you can if you want, but I really recommend storing it on cold storage like a ledger or a Trezor. I'll put a link in the description where you can get one cheap too. Um, staking is a technique that will punish our network's decentralization to a new level while bringing benefits to a wider community. So staking is good because it gets rid of that uh, wasted proof of work. Yes, I know all those Bitcoiners are going to hate me for it, but it, it's true. I mean, it's more efficient with staking. I mean, come on. Millennials are all about saving the world or um, using as least or as little resources as possible. But yet some of them are investing in Bitcoin. And it's like, well, I thought you were trying to save the environment. I think you're doing the opposite because Bitcoin uses a lot of energy. But OK, um, so why stake your Zillica? Uh, it's it also the more people that stake you get more returns but obviously the more people that are staking in the lower the returns go but you guys can see here's some of the um, wallets you can stake on um, even atomic wallet does it. it's pretty cool uh, here it is so this is Gzil. what is Gzil? Gzils are short for governance zills. They are fungible tokens that can be earned alongside staking rewards. When Zillica's non-custodial staking program goes live on the 14th of October. Why did we create Gzil? Well, they were created. Basically, Gzil can help you become part of our ecosystem's governance mechanism as a decision maker. How do you earn Gzil? As mentioned, Gzil will be distributed to users alongside staking rewards. Only For a limited time. Gzil earned as a staking Pump reward, a metal right there, Gzil baby. will be issued. These little rewards you receive depends on how much you stake, how long you stake for, how often you engage with our network, and how and when you get involved. It's simple. To get Gzil, start staking. Gzil are issued only when delegators withdraw their reward from Zillion and from wallets or exchanges supporting Zill staking. Can I continue to accure Gzil for the next one, two, or five years? Nope. No. Gzil derives part of its value from the scarcity. Hence, early birds will be rewarded for their contribution and support to this ecosystem. Gzil will only be issued for one year, starting from the 14th of October. And a cap of 682,550 has been placed on Gzil minting and distribution. To be eligible for Gzil, you must be a delegator. Don't miss your chance to become a dis Not many tokens, only 682,000. Really small. So, do you want to get one Gzil? Hmm. Maybe. Gzil, uh, it was bouncing around. Um, went up to like 130 bucks. And then it tanked down to 94. 
But I don't know. Pump of minerals right there, buddy. People were selling them at $29.99. <laughs> uh, that was two days ago, and now today it's at $94. Poor guys. Um, anyways, so, um, yeah, if your node goes down, uh, your stake does not get impacted. You will not earn a reward, but your stake's intact. So keep that in mind. Make sure you stake with good actors or people are going to uh, pay right, and you can uh, see where they are. So you where is it stake now so you hit stake now and you can literally just choose anyone you want do not go with the guys who give like a hundred percent commission rate there used to be used to be over here um binance was out here they're getting a hundred percent they finally got rid of it which is good but um this means that if you get a hundred tokens um you're going to be giving out 2.5 of them um to whatever it is so that's your commission yeah, this uh, sex or cx.io, it has zero. Hey, it may be good a good one, but then you got to factor in. They've only had this many rewards. Are they trustworthy? Are they staying up? Are they doing a good job? So try. Yeah, you may have like five and five and two and a half, but just keep in mind um, there's a reason for what you're getting. Also, this one's getting 24. Um, most of the percentage of the tokens are on this amount or on this, which is pretty good. Probably because they're given the best rates and they're um, the most uh, used. So you can see the rewards. And if you want to check how much yours is getting, you enter your wallet address to check your rewards and so on. So guys, that's Zilli or Zillica in a nutshell. This is what I think of the project. Um, could it be the next Ethereum? I don't know. Um, probably not, um, because Ethereum's got a lot behind it, but hey, it could, you never know. This isn't financial advice, this is just my opinion, this is what I think of the project. I do like, uh, in the short term, how you have the, um, limited time with the GZIL, um, that's definitely an incentive for people to be like, oh, well, I need this now, because for a limited time only, uh, okay, whatever. Um, Guys, don't get into that FOMO. Every time you get into FOMO, you will lose your shirt unless you know what you're doing. Um, remember, guys, buy low, sell high. That's how it works. So, guys, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you have not already, smash that like button if you liked it. If you didn't like it, smash that dislike button. Tell me what you guys think about Zillica and GZIL. Tell me what you guys um, think the pro or where the project could go. Tell me what you guys think about the CEO, the founders. Do you think this project could be the next Ethereum? Tell me if you like or dislike uh, Zillica. Uh, tell me if you don't like my voice. Tell me if you don't like what I'm doing. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and see you in the next one.